When you sign into Enaslate for the first time, a default project will be created and you will be automatically navigated to that default project's dashboard. The first thing to notice is the dark bar at the top of your screen, known as the top navigation bar. This is a constant fixture throughout the application. No matter where you navigate within Enaslate, this navigation bar will remain fixed at the top of your browser window. This bar is your primary means of navigating around Enaslate. So let's take a tour. The menu dropdown is the leftmost feature of the top navigation bar. The links contained in this dropdown are arranged into four columns, General, Documents, Tools, and Quick Links. The General column contains navigation links to your project's dashboard, database, diagrams, and test center. The Documents column contains navigational links to Documents view, such as ConOps, Requirements, Test Plans, and more. The Tools column contains navigational links to tools within Inislate, such as the DoDAF dashboard, Import Analyzer, Schema Editor, and Intelligence. And lastly, of course, we have Quick Links. Documentation, webinars, pricing, and of course, you can always contact us. The next set of buttons to the immediate right of the menu dropdown are items which have been pinned to the top navigation bar. Simply click the button with the name of the view or tool and you'll be automatically navigated there. To customize the pinned buttons, open the menu dropdown and click the plus button, which shows up when your cursor hovers next to what you want pinned. For example, if you wanted to pin Import Analyzer, just click the plus button and it will automatically add it to your top navigation bar. The first button on the right of the toolbar is the search button. Clicking this button will take you to the search view. The next button is the toggle chat button. This toggles the collaboration sidebar open and closed. You will find the collaboration sidebar fixed to the right of your browser window when it is open. This allows you to chat with a group or chat with an individual user that is in your project. Next is the share button. This opens the share project dialog. Here you can set project permissions, remove users if you're an owner. You can also add another user. You can enter email addresses of users you'd like to share with your project, set the permission level, and then just click share. Next is the switch project dropdown which is located immediately to the right of the share button. This dropdown contains links that switch Enaslate to any of your existing projects, as well as a Manage Projects link that opens the Manage Projects dedicated page. And we'll be sure to talk about this in our next video. The user dropdown, as shown below, is the last and rightmost menu item of the top navigation bar. Here you have access to update your Enaslate user account, profile, change your password, upgrade your plan, downgrade your plan, or sign out of Enaslate.